Thaddeus was a young man who loved life and his family. He was kind, generous, and faithful to God. He had a beautiful wife, a lovely daughter, and a newborn son. He worked hard as a carpenter and provided for his household. One day, as he was returning home from work, he saw a group of soldiers approaching the town. They were part of the Roman army that was persecuting the Christians in the region. Sathias knew that he had to hide his faith and his family from them. He hurried to his house and told his wife to take the children and flee to the nearby forest. He said he would join them soon, but he had to stay behind and secure the door. He hoped that the soldiers would pass by his house without noticing anything suspicious. But he was wrong. One of the soldiers saw the cross that Sathias had carved on the wall of his house. He shouted to his comrades and they broke down the door. They dragged Sathias out of his house and beat him mercilessly. They accused him of being a Christian and a traitor to the emperor. They demanded that he renounce his faith and worship the Roman gods. Sathias refused. He said that he would rather die than deny his lord and savior. The soldiers were enraged. They stabbed him with their swords and left him bleeding on the ground. They set fire to his house and moved on to the next one. Sathias lay there, feeling his life slipping away. He prayed to God and asked for forgiveness and mercy. He thought of his wife and children and hoped that they were safe. He felt a peace in his heart and closed his eyes. Meanwhile, Saint John the Evangelist, who was one of the apostles of Jesus Christ, was traveling through the land, preaching the gospel and performing miracles. He heard about the persecution of the Christians in the town and decided to go there and help them. He arrived at the town and saw the smoke and flames rising from the houses. He saw the bodies of the martyrs lying on the streets. He felt a great sorrow and compassion for them. He prayed to God and asked for his power and grace. He walked among the dead and the dying, looking for any signs of life. He came across Sathias, who was still breathing faintly. He recognized him as one of his disciples, who had heard his teachings and followed his example. He knelt down beside him and touched his wounds. He said to him, Sathias, my son, do not be afraid. I am here to help you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to rise and live. At that moment, a miracle happened. Sathias opened his eyes and saw Saint John the Evangelist smiling at him. He felt a surge of warmth and energy in his body. His wounds healed and his pain vanished. He got up and hugged Saint John the Evangelist. He said, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You have saved me from death and given me new life. Saint John the Evangelist said, Praise be to God, who is the source of all life and love. He has shown his mercy and power to you, my son. He has raised you from the dead, just as he raised his own son from the dead. He has given you a testimony of his grace and glory. Go and tell everyone what he has done for you. And do not be afraid of those who can kill the body, but not the soul. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Sathias nodded and thanked Saint John the Evangelist again. He ran to the forest, where he found his wife and children waiting for him. They were overjoyed to see him alive and well. They embraced him and cried tears of happiness. They praised God and thanked him for his miracle. They returned to the town with Saint John the Evangelist, who continued to preach and heal the people. Many more believed in Jesus Christ and became his followers. The story of Sathias and his resurrection spread throughout the land and inspired many to stand firm in their faith and hope.